Hello everybody, I hope that you are doing very well and welcome to today's cryptocurrency technical analysis where I am going to be going through the altcoins in the market. Oh my everybody, altcoins right now are extremely bullish. It's almost as if you can go across to Binance, take a list of altcoins, put them on a bit of paper, put on a blindfold, take out a few darts and throw those darts at the bit of paper, take off the blindfold, buy the alts where the darts have landed, wake up to profits the following day. It really is. It's the cycle. Okay, you know that if you know cryptocurrency well enough, you go through these cycles. And right now we are in an alt cycle and it is lovely. Uh, you've got to make the most of it while it lasts. And um, in today's video, I'm going to be talking about EOS and actually Dogecoin, um, which is a funny altcoin. But nevertheless, uh, you know, the, the, this is what we're seeing at, at the moment. Go over to Binance, see the spot markets and look at the alts. And you can see, you know, 20%, you know, Doge today up 50%. You know, coins like VET, obviously a really, really, really nice altcoin. Uh, Cardano, absolutely insane profits. Um, you know, you also look at Band, so that's another one. Uh, I've also been trading. Uh, Link, okay, Tezos. I mean, there's so many altcoins right now, which are just insane. Uh, one of the best trades I've made is, is here on EOS, not in terms of percentage gains, but in terms of the technicals behind this trade. Um, you know, it's just, it's, it is, I, 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 you got to say, you just got to make the most of these at the moment. Funny enough, Dogecoin is apparently moving up right now because there's a TikTok challenge of of something called like Pump Doge or something like this. But it's it's insane. Like the, the, the whether why it's moving up, I don't really care. But like the te just the technicals, which I'm going to talk you through here on EOS, extremely respected and trading how one would expect. And then. You know, everything's just extremely bullish right now. Uh, so I must start off this video by saying oh, I, I am invested in the US. I have money in it. But this video is not financial advice. I'm not telling you what to do with your money. Do your own research. Uh, you know, please understand I'm not telling you what to do at all. This is an entertainment and uh, educational video only. OK, so no advice is given. But uh, that said, I am going to be talking you through my trade that I have taken on EOS. So this, you can see here the, the 27th of June, 27th of June, remember the day, uh, because it, it, if I was around on Twitter for this, I would have posted something like this. Uh, I do not often buy altcoins, but when I do, I buy the generational bottom. And uh, <laughs> that's what was happening on the 27th of June. A major, major low, in my opinion, being hit right here. Okay, as you can see, given, you know, this is this is obviously the advantage of the group. There's a real time update of me telling the group that my buy order had been hit on EOS offered a weekly. I mean, you know, been waiting for that one a long time. And, you know, you get you, you see that you see that post that I'm writing right there in the group. Well, you can't you kind of have to react because they're from the 27th. We went sideways for a little bit and we have just not stopped running upwards here. You can see impulse consolidation, impulse consolidation, impulse consolidation, impulse. So it's almost like your impulse bull flag, impulse, bull flag, impulse, bull flag, impulse. Um, so it's just insane. And obviously that's that's the low of the weekly there that I managed to get in. Insane entry. And uh, you can see we were running up right up now back up to weekly resistance. If you don't know where that weekly is from, by the way, it's from December 2017. That's a December 2017 weekly level. Okay, so way, way, way back in December 17. So, you know, that's what you mean by waiting a long time for an entry. And also buying when it's peak sort of depression so when everybody's really scared when everybody's saying right this is it eos is 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 going to crash eos is going to zero uh you know just the same as many other alts you you want to be picking up these alts before everybody's talking about them okay so before i'm making a public youtube video you know that's where you need to be kind of really getting into the alts let's be honest you know recognizing these signs early before anyone else has recognized them uh you know yeah the profits that you can make on these alts are, are, are you know absolutely insane uh, but yeah, in terms of like a technical analysis here that you have, I want to I want to bring your attention to the, the fact that, um, you know, I'm really bullish at the moment. But, uh, you know, you do have to think that um, a big move on Bitcoin could definitely uh, negatively affect the altcoins. So you, although I would never say like trade your altcoins thinking about Bitcoin, so to speak, you want to trade the charts and the technical analysis for themselves. But um, yeah, a, a big move on Bitcoin could, uh, well, it's likely to negatively affect the altcoins. So if you get that big move, uh, which is is in likely to be coming soon. Uh, then you can uh, you can imagine the alts to pull back. Okay, could could be like seventeen where where they all run together. But I personally think that's less likely. Uh, but yeah, I'm in some altcoins which I'm just like trading stop losses and uh, you know hoping they run like link at the moment. I'm just buying and buying and buying and buying more link. Okay, trading stop losses up and at some point I'm going to get stopped out of it. But I'll have compounded so hard. But <laughs> you know. 
that you got to make your own tactics, your own decisions of how to trade these things. But uh, like the, I must say, like the although yeah, everything's pumping really, really hard right now. I mean, Cardano is insane. ADA, um, you know, these sort of alts are really insane. You know, Link is insane, all time highs. You know, it's just going and going and going. But um, you do want to, uh, you know, you do have to acknowledge that they are respecting technical analysis. Obviously, Link's at an all time high. EOS is is not. You know, take a look, take a look at the difference of of what EOS is. Okay, so this is the EOS chart looks like this is a big move but obviously in the grand scheme of things it's it's nothing so um you know just remember where you are in the, in 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 the bigger picture here but nevertheless you know you can make you can you know you're showing you here you can make money off of these moves um and then if it keeps running it keeps running and a good thing is about these coins that <clears throat> Many of them are, are near all-time lows. So if they start to break these key resistances, then they can also run hard. But I would also, uh, you know, on, on coins, you know, Link for me is different. The way that I trade Link is going to be the different than the way I trade EOS. But nevertheless, um, the way that I like to look at it is, you know, marking out these simple resistance and support levels. Like the weekly, the monthlies, the dailies, they, they work so well, like really, really, really well. And then you just got to like monitor the reactions as you approach each level. So I would say like you're, you haven't hit it quite yet, but like, eight two eight eight three for example this region of the weekly and this is what i say like you can't view it as the exact sat but you know give it a space either side like this region is is, is going to be resistance you claim that resistance which means gets above it and then you could you look up for your next resistance level which is probably going to really be around your three thousand psychological but you have to imagine that then this thing can run up to your next weekly which is just um you know if you think about it like the profits that you gain off these alts are like you, do, you don't you don't see this you know link today up 10 percent. yesterday the day before that was up 10 percent. day before that it's up 10 percent. you know it's just crazy the way that they run okay but the way i would like to like look at these is is using tools like fibonacci okay so really really simply you could um let, let's just say you want to use something like um yeah, like Fibonacci, you yeah, know, something really simple, like let's say say a channel, okay? So you could put on like a channel on this and let's say we go down onto, um, let's say we look at this in terms of this channel here then, okay? So we're going to connect this, okay? The two lows and we're connecting up to the highs. Well, look at that. Okay, so then you can see that you have like a channel going on here, okay? So you are looking from the lows up to the highs. You can see the midpoint here is really well respected. And then you're seeing at the moment, okay, so we are hitting around a weekly. We are hitting the top of this channel. And you can say this is likely to get, uh, you know, it might equal a pullback. <clears throat> But does it equal a pullback and a trend change? Or does it equal a, a another bull flag? which then gets an impulse through your resistance levels because that's what's been doing so far, hasn't it? Impulse, consolidation, impulse, you know, the pullback, impulse, the pullback, impulse to get your pullback for another impulse through your, because this is a big resistance region. So it's not like this is game over. This is not like I'm thinking, oh, this, this is it. But you do have to just recognize the resistances you're coming up at. And obviously in these situations, you can take profits. If you get the pullback uh, and it's like a healthy pullback, then you can, um, you know, add, let's, let's say you're, let's say you're in a thousand dollars position, you know, for an example, you could maybe take $500 profit. If it comes back down to here, you add in another $500. So you're back in your thousand dollars. And then if it pushes up, you know, then great. If you get a pullback and it's actually an unhealthy pullback, which look is looking as if it's a strong pullback with a trend change, well, then you can close out your position and maybe enter a short. I, I don't short the altcoins, by the way. So I don't actually short altcoins. I only long them. But yeah, right now, my, my focus is on all the alts. So I am, uh, this morning, I went through every single altcoin on Binance. So I went through 196 different altcoins. And I've identified for me the my favorite altcoins. Of the list so from the 196 i personally have now uh about 10 altcoins um that i am trading and that i think have really great potential so yeah i uh, i'm not, not gonna lie like for me I'm, I'm so bullish on alts right now but uh i do also acknowledge you know bitcoin can potentially ruin the party but you know you gotta you scared money don't make money if you sat if you sit there thinking oh bitcoin's gonna ruin the alts and you're just not gonna trade alts so it's you gotta you gotta you gotta just trade it you know <laughs> and uh the rewards are insane and i've already been rewarded on on several of my altcoins so um yeah i guess this video was just to alert you to, if you because i know many of my subscribers they just literally follow bitcoin but this video is to alert you that altcoins right now have a lovely opportunity like the opportunity inside of the altcoins right now is just insanely high um you have to remember bitcoin is just going sideways yeah so bitcoin is literally just in this sideways period okay really defined range um 
So while Bitcoin is really sideways like this, like the alts run, so the alts are loving this sideways movement. So that's all. That's uh, one thing to bear in mind. And I think I've I've shown you like these quotes before. Oh yeah, but there, there was but there was the entries that I had. Those, those were on. This is over on by uh, Bitmex, obviously. But as an EOS long, you can see at the lows. Ethereum long. St I'm still in those two positions, by the way. The Bitcoin short there, nine thousand eight hundred. But yeah. Uh, you know, th this is the quote I wanted to end with. Uh, this is uh, this is one that I have shown before, but um, you know, let, let's read it out uh, because it's just it's just always good to remember this: that trading based on structure provides the greatest level of comfort and confidence. For there is obvious proof on which to base a decision. The more information we have in our favour, the more comfortable we are with a trade. Unfortunately, visible information and opportunity are inversely related. The more structural information present, the less an opportunity still exists. Thus, if a trader waits for too much information, chances are a good Chances are the real opportunity has been missed. If all evidence is present and visible, then you are far from the first who have acted on it and probably have a poor trade location. EOS provides a good opportunity here for a long, and if you are expecting a relief rally before it gets too much attention. Position sizing can be uh, decreased as one is fighting the overall trend, and compounded if structure does in fact change. And obviously you get further swing failure patterns, you get further opportunities, but it all boils down, um, <clears throat> all boils down to the fact uh, you know, when, for, you know, just for the example here, you know, entering EOS down at, you know, weekly regions compounding as it increases, um, you know, this this is inversely correlated. So you have to think that when I'm buying down here on EOS, again, this is for the educational side of the video, but when I'm buying down here on EOS, like how many people do you think are buying at that moment in time? You see this really big red candle, okay, really big red candle, you know, that that's down around, uh, it was down around, uh, if I remember correctly, on the 27th, about 8% on the day. So you come over to this, you see every, you know, all the altcoins red, Bitcoin red, EOS down 8%, Ethereum was down about 5%. So you're seeing everything selling off hard. Like, who is buying there? Yeah, <laughs> The answer is me. I was buying there. But nevertheless, you have to think like not many people in general are going to be buying when it's really red like that, selling off hard, are they? If they haven't done the technical analysis, for example. And many people in this opportunity, in this moment, are going to be scared. And this is where you see the real opportunities. That's the real opportunity. Would I say now is the amazing opportunity? Obviously, if it can clear this resistance, I still think it can run hard. But nevertheless, obviously, the higher that you go, the less the opportunity is really there in terms of the risk to rewards. Okay, buying down here really defined where I'm wrong. I know where I'm right. And, um, you know, back up here, you know, obviously it's it's less, it's it's not as nice buying up here as it is down here. If that, you know, I hope that makes sense. It's always, you always want to be buying as low as possible, really, don't you? But obviously it's okay to buy high if this chart is strong. Okay. And link is like an amazing example of that. This thing is, that was our last daily resistance. Okay. So that was your last daily resistance on the whole of the chart before all time highs, literally. And you can see, how it breaks daily and this is now at all time highs and it just hasn't stopped just hasn't stopped so obviously in these examples you know obviously at any point it could just do this but unless you see that sign you got a trade with that strength and with the with how bullish i am at the moment and yeah it's nice but uh <laughs> yeah this was a quick video to bring your attention i suppose to the alts again not financial advice but you know i am invested in them and uh you know me and other people in the group are, are trading them and uh, you can see, yeah, people just absolutely loving the altcoins at the moment. <laughs> absolutely loving it. And uh, I suppose if you want some updates on to the way that I'm trading altcoins, the altcoins that I am trading, uh, I believe that I've identified the ones with the best opportunities in terms of still potential to run up higher. Um, then if you want that assistance and, you know, I give this information in the chart champions group in the daily trading updates to the contenders and champions, obviously with more detail about like Pacific entries. So like giving Pacific entries, obviously from this, I've given updates of how I'm trading it in terms of targets, whether I'm trailing, um, you know, if you are after those sort of updates of the altcoins, uh, then, you know, chart champions is for you. And on and the next Champions live stream, I am going to be live trading these alts on stream. So if you want to see someone live trading the altcoins, I'm going to be doing that on Sunday, um, definitely, because the altcoins right now are insane. And so, yeah, the next Champions live stream, I will be live trading the altcoins. You'll see exactly how I'm doing it. So, um, yeah, I'm looking forward to that. Absolutely. Uh, it's going to be amazing. Enjoy the altcoins at the moment. They literally are just on fire. The same, same as Bitcoin is pretty nice at the moment. Um, but yeah, 
make the most of these opportunities uh you know do stick to the technical analysis don't get you know don't get carried away like a moon boy you know don't just like buy and hold on to these things forever you do want to buy it take profits at resistance add on if there's strength take you know remove the position totally if it there starts to become weakness because that weakness come can come at the snap of a finger from likely from bitcoin you know but uh so do 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 take that level of caution but also don't be so scared don't be and also don't get into the mindset thinking oh this thing's already moved up i've missed out i'm not going to trade it you know you do have to recognize that there's times to trade with strength and actually i've got a live stream tonight I do have a live stream tonight for the contenders and the champions where I'm going to be going over Tezos chart of the week. And this is a really, really nice example of, um, yeah, trading with strength. So, yeah, I'm going to cover Tezos in, in depth tonight if you if you like Tezos. But, um, you know, this was a quick, uh, what, 15 minute video update for the public here over on YouTube to really uh, bring your attention to the alts. Um, you know, I want to highlight, really stick to the technical analysis. Do not get greedy. Do keep a close eye on Bitcoin because just like that, the altcoins can tumble. So make sure you're trading sensibly with your risk management. But yeah, I, I personally am making big, big, just taking really big advantage of the altcoins and yeah, they're, they're running they're running really, really real well, as they have been this this whole week, really. Okay, last last week and a half. So, yeah, hope you've enjoyed this video update and enjoy trading. Thanks, everybody. Cheers and have a good day. Bye. Bye.